Hey, I'm Isaac. I'm Casey. I'm Jose. And I'm Clay. And we are Team Wing It. Travel is awesome, and it's responsible for many of the best memories of our lives. More often than not, air travel is responsible for the majority of a trip's cost. We built Wing It to help solve this problem and make travel accessible to as many people as possible. While planning many of our own trips, we would spend hours poring over hundreds of combinations of flights, looking at alternate airport options, long stopovers, open jaw flights, and other travel hacks to find the best and cheapest possible itinerary. We decided to automate these travel hacks used by savvy travelers and present interesting itineraries that took advantage of these travel hacks, alongside other helpful travel information for our target uh, demographic of students, digital nomads, and backpackers, and really anyone with a sense of adventure. Mainstream flight search engines don't do this because they're built for people who prioritize simply getting from point A to point B. Winget prioritizes seeing cool places and making awesome memories. Now, let's search for some flights with Winget. This is the Winget homepage. Most prominently featured, you can see our search bar, which contains a bunch of different tabs for making different types of flight searches. Additionally, below the search bar, you'll see some cards displaying information about the different types of travel hacks that Winget automates. To begin, we'll make a simple round trip flight search from Salt Lake to Amsterdam. We'll go sometime in the next week. We'll go for about two weeks. To make the search, simply press the Wing It button. As you can see, a bunch of results have been populated for us. We can go dive into these results and look at the specific flights we'll be on, as well as the cities we'll be going to, uh, as well as the flights we'll be on for our return journey. Additionally, lodging options are provided for every destination visited. Users on Winget can filter or sort itineraries based on different parameters. One can sort based on price or filter based on price ranges. Additionally, users can filter itineraries based on airlines, number of stops, and the total duration of a flight. Now let's discuss open jaw flights, which involve pairing flights into and out of different airports where the user organizes their own non-air travel in between. This can be less expensive than flying in and out of the same airport, and it has the added benefit of allowing the user to visit more cities and have more fun. For our open jaw search, we allow the user to indicate the range of distances that they'd be willing and wanting to travel between airports. We let them choose one desired destination airport, and we select the other based on factors like distance, popularity, and price. Let's try taking a trip from Salt Lake to Germany for a couple of weeks to kick off the new year. Here's an example of an open jaw flight where we would fly into Dresden and out of Berlin. We could take a two hour train sometime in between or go backpacking if we're feeling adventurous. Other options include cities such as Leipzig and Szolona Góra in Poland. An interesting way for the user to compare these itineraries would be to take a look at our map and timeline visualizations. The interactive timeline helps the user understand when they will be on an airplane in an airport, or exploring a destination city. This information is presented visually and also broken down numerically. The timeline is color-coordinated with the world map since it can be helpful to see itineraries geographically. The map shows airports and flight paths for each itinerary. Here we can see that the airports in Berlin, Leipzig, Dresden, and Szolona Góra are not too far from each other, respecting the requested 100 to 200 kilometer radius and we might have to cross country lines between Germany and Poland depending on the itinerary we select. Finally, we'll look at one last search type Winget offers, and that's the Anywhere search. The Anywhere search only requires you to put an origin airport and dates that you're traveling during. It also allows you the ability to select the number of destinations you'll visit. We'll visit three destinations. Additionally, we'll select a region on this map that we want to visit. Finally, we'll click Winget and wait or wing it to provide results. Here we can see the results of our Anywhere search. Let's say we're excited about this first itinerary and we want to actually book it. To do so, we'll scroll down to the Book Now button where we'll be taken to the Wing It booking page. The Wing It booking page provides links to our external flight data provider uh, through which you can actually book this flight. Additionally, we can click on these lodging options and scan through these hostels. If we decide we like one of these hostels, Simply click on the link, and again, we'll be taken to a third-party booking destination. Finally, if we decide to go on this trip, we can generate a trip plan with the AI.
We used a multitude of different technologies here at Winget. For the front end, we used primarily JavaScript and React. Our back end server was written in Java and Spring. And our database is a Postgres database running in Google Cloud. The web server is hosted on Google Cloud as well. We also use an external flight data provider called Tequila. Tequila allows us to search flights in real time from every single different airline in the world. This allows us to gather that data and then collect it into the itineraries that you would see displayed on the site. To maintain a clean and organized code base, as well as to keep our project on schedule, we used a variety of project management tools provided by GitLab. These tools included things like merge requests, code reviews, and issue boards. Thanks for watching our presentation. We hope you enjoy using Winget as much as we enjoyed creating it.